All right, here we go. So this is foam, and this is uh, those are tile pieces I got given to me. And cut the foam down. This is the uh, winter set, the winter well, winter set three, the well. I don't know. And, uh, and my hot wire cutter died, so I'm just using uh, a cheap ripoff blade. Bulls bizarre bizarre broken bobbles. Like, share, subscribe. Tell that guy on the radio. Uh, and here's some final shots of what it looks like. Yeah, uh, this series is me trying to figure out how to do snow, and I get a little better at it each time, I think. But there's some issues. So this is just a foam core, uh, foam board from Dollar Tree, cutting the strips to make uh, bricks to make the well. And uh, you strip the paper off first, but I always forget to, so it's one of the things. Uh, yeah, so cut them, and I'm just randomly cutting them about the same length by eye. And this is a regular cheap dollar store style. I don't know. It's not from the dollar store. It's this this uh, glue gun is probably like twenty or thirty years old. It's not new. Uh, it was probably a dollar at the time. Now I think they're like three bucks at Walmart. Uh, and that's the thing I got to tell you if you're gonna start out, <laughs> get a bed, get a good glue gun, like a dual temp, cordless. Spend sixty bucks on a glue gun, not three dollars. But, you know, I am a cheapskate and have, I don't know, six of these floating around. So I put bricks, just a line of bricks on the inside, a line of bricks on the outside, and this is like the, I don't know, whatever. I'm just gluing some coffee stir sticks together with the old super glue baking soda trick. And uh, this part was fiddly for whatever reason. For some reason, I let it dry on camera because I didn't edit that part real well. So, you know, just do this thing and watch me screw up a bunch so that you don't have to in many different ways. So there we go. I could edit it out like 10 seconds of that or more. And some glue, and I'm just trying to figure out what I'm doing. I don't have a plan. Just kind of figuring it out and gluing some spare junk here and there together and trying to make it all stick and look good and whatnot. And so we, I to see that dry time I cut out. So I'm just clipping off the extras and kind of making a thing and I don't know. I keep all my little bits of wood for like ruined stuff. That's the Zona saw, which I need to get a different miter box system for that. That might be on next on my purchase lists. <clears throat> anyway, no, 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 no. So just hot glue those down. And I left the binding stick or cross thing, I don't know, on the top because I thought it just added some visual interest. Da, 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 da. And so we just kind of did that. Da, 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 da. And there's the hole. And it's a well. And it's a thing. And so random just scraps of stuff and just glue them on there to make the little hut thing that sits over the top of the roof. Which uh, has been glued back on 700,000 times. I'm probably going to like this piece is done, but I probably will have to drill a hole and put a pin in it. It just will not stay on. <clears throat> which is one of those things. That you learn is how to drill holes in things so they stay on. They stay uh, symbiote. There's another cut I missed somewhere. I mean, like, da, da, da. So these are rocks, and this uh, goes along with the, the aesthetic of the rest of the set. But really, the real super secret reason I use rocks, I don't want anybody to know, but I will let you know right now. It's because this is foam and it's a Put some rocks on there to add weight. And just this is like a water and uh, light brown paint, craft paint, just to make the wood look more like dark wood. Oh, and those uh, <coughs> side pieces are some sort of wood, grassy stuff that came from a placemat that I bought a bunch of. And this is just a darker, reddier brown to give it some contrast. Kind of thing. This is a homemade black wash on the stones to make them look uh, stony. And da -da 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 -da. I'm just smear pull and let it dry. And we just put some blue on here so it'll shine through the snow because I don't know what I'm doing. I think I finally figured it out. I think the next one I do in this set will kind of figure it out. So yeah, the first one I did all this extra paint work so it would show up in patterns. And here I figured out it's going to be splotches because it's going to show up how it shows up. And uh, yeah, that's what I did. And so we. A little light brush of uh, khaki over the wood to make it look like wood that's a little weathered. 
and some yeah, da -da -da -da. and that is of course glue. Oh, and hot glue. I have glued down some rocks, and I I don't know. There's some edit there. Uh, we're gonna short on time on working on these videos. So they had it kind of a little, I guess, squirrelier than I thought it was gonna be, but it's whatever. Let's glue down some rocks, and this is just some glue. Plain old clear school glue stuff. It's whatever brand that is, but you can use whatever. And cornstarch for snow. Which is a thing that you can do. And it's, uh, yeah, it's a mess. I don't know. I, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll use flour sometime in the future or something. I don't know. So the problem with this, uh, gluing this stuff down is that it's the layer so thin but it's what you need for scale, and I don't know, I tried playing with this a lot, and then finally I just put it in video. And... Okay, so when you use glue like this with cornstarch, you just get a little layer of cornstarch and a layer of glue, and it's transparent, of course, because it's so thin, but it also does this thing called cupping, which is where, like, when stuff, like PVA dries, it pulls together, and so the whole piece kind of pulls up on all the corners, uh, it's called, I, I don't know where I got the term cupping from, but uh, it's where the outside, see it's like a thin little layer. And so it's, I just try to layer of PVA and some of that and see if that works and it kind of didn't. And, and, but anyway, so cupping, yeah, yeah. It's where, okay, so PVA shrinks as it dries, right? Well. So if you were to pour like a whole bunch on a flat surface, like a piece of granite, like countertop, it would just like up, you know, like, like pepperoni on top of a pizza kind of thing, right? Well, that's what this stuff does. And it, I used so much on this that I learned a really quick, I'm an idiot lesson that I already knew, but you know, it's one of those things where I screw up so you don't have to, right? So you learn from me screwing up that it, it's not good to do this much PVA over a piece of foam because the foam will bend. Uh, you have to have like a wooden uh, base material or something. This is just paint and, or not paint, glue and water. Maybe glue and alcohol. I think it's glue and alcohol. I'm just glue and water. And this is just, uh, yeah, da -da -da, da -da -da. I'm just trying to mix up some more spray to get that to kind of turn into a thing. And there's the goober that came out of it because I forgot that that, that glue reacts really heavily with the high. <sighs> Uh, concentration of alcohol I used. Anyway, yeah, so there's another screw up. And so this is after it dried and I'm just brushing off the excess. All right, da -da 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 and I kind of like it, so I just paint my rocks. I kind of like the cracky to earth snow layer where it's, you know, whatever. So in my head, it's like it melted and then refroze and then melted and refroze and maybe, I don't know, it's whatever. So, some more glue, because I'm an idiot. I should have stopped like right there and just dry brush it. It would have been perfectly fine. And so, a little more glue, a little bit of uh, my homemade snow stuff, which is ground up uh, uh, craft foam from like the Dollar Tree or whatever. Like those, not styrofoam, but those foam balls that people get for things and, and reeds and, I don't know, they're just craft blocks and see the top broke off and I glue it back on and it breaks off 17 more times and probably not all on camera but I like this snow effect I like the way it looks and it's really not hard to do it's just kind of a mess the snow is a mess in my uh, personal opinion and experience snow is a mess for some reason I got blue bleed out I screwed up somewhere I got a drop of paint on there so I'm just trying to put some more uh, glue and paint on that thing and paint and glue and glue and paint just kind of so yeah that's just ground up uh that foam and it's got some uh like the insides of a beanie baby but not from a beanie baby you can buy them uh that doll stuffing stuff like rocks or whatever or, you know it's like they're little uh clear plastic pellets that's what i'm looking for i don't remember the type of plastic it doesn't really matter I use them because it helps uh, my blender to grind up the foam. 
and they're clear, so if they break up, then they're just pieces of snow. And if they happen to fall through my filter, if they might see it, then they're just big pieces, giant pieces of hail. There's more glue and water. There's more glue and more water. And we let it dry and see it's somehow I lost the video of that. But so it's cupped up at the edges and somehow I lost the video. And uh, so I had to add this like weird skirt of uh, uh, post or not poster board, a foam board with no middle in it, which I'm sure I show the bottom here in a minute. So that like the piece would be kind of flat. And so to stop any additional cupping or bending, see, there's no middle in it. It's because the edges all stick up. So it's got an Easter egg cut out of the middle. Anyway, uh, yeah, and so this is just, uh, and the thing broke. I broke the stupid thing too, right there across that paint crack there. That's that's a crack because I was trying to just, sometimes you can flex things back and it just snapped. So anyway, and this is just, uh, that's a primer to stick the hot glue because it's one of those things where paint doesn't stick well to hot glue. And this is just plain white and I didn't let the primer dry enough so it kind of gets some pan mixed into it forever. And it's, it all works out, it's fine. But you know, you should probably wait longer than I did. I was so, I've been, I should have been done with this piece like three weeks before I was because it's just a thing. That's just wall mud, uh, joint, lightweight joint compound. They just fill out that bond, that whatever, to make it a more of a, a, like a less severe incline or whatever. And this is just, uh, uh, so this is cornstarch and PVA glue. And as, I don't know, I'm looking for a stick to start with. And I just kind of eyeball it until it's kind of a weird kind of paste material. Add a little bit of paint so it's white. And it kind of just like becomes like icing, which kind of makes sense. I mean, really. So I use my little spatula thingy from my uh, whatever uh, sculpting kit and just kind of smear it on there. And it's kind of like self leveling caulking almost at this point. I mean, it's like royal icing, but I mean, it acts that way. Uh, but it self levels a little bit. And it's kind of droopy and drippy, and that's, that's fine uh, for what I'm doing here. And I think it's the way I'm going to do snow from now on to stop. It still cracks and everything, which I dig that it cracks because it's supposed to be ancient snow or from a magic thing or whatever. And uh, I dig that it looks that way. I just don't like the fact that it warps my bases. And I don't think this stuff will make it warp my bases. Anyway, so da 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 da. I'm going to put a little glue on there and then some da 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 da, some cornstarch over the top and just kind of whatever it. And, uh, yeah, save my old cornstarch as much as I can, and I have to dust everything when this particular section of this project's over. Probably every time I do a piece for it. I'm really tempted to just do like seven pieces in a row just to be done, because there's cornstarch dust everywhere. Don't use cornstarch. You just paint things white. Anyway, yeah, glue, 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 glue. And that's my snow mix. And excess snow mix come off. Da, 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 da. And there's still cornstarch stuff coming off everywhere. So we just add some more glue over their lips of stuff and pinch it up, pinch up some of the snow that fell off to just cover up the spots to kind of make it fit in a little. I, I don't know, you know, like to cover the transition a little bit. Uh, and here it is finished. It looks okay. I probably have to do a sealer coat of something over the top to tie it all down. Right now, everything's like where it won't knock, stuff won't knock off. I take it over and tap it and there isn't snow falling off of it, but uh, the guy that's getting these this set, I don't want him to have to like deal with extra mess in his play area because he meets a group like two hours from where he lives. And I don't want him to have to be like, oh man, I'm sorry, I got blah, blah, blah over your hobby room. And it's just one of those things. And there it is. And I, I've made a bucket and all this stuff for that. And I just decided, nah, nah. It doesn't need a bucket. It's a well. It's fine. Anyway, Bulls Bazaar, Bazaar, Broken Bobbles. Like, share, subscribe. Push the button. Do the thing. Comment down below. See ya.